Topic is, how was your Shark Tank funding? All the way from Berlin, although a native of this beautiful city. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome on stage of number 26, Christian Rebernick. Welcome on stage, Christian. <laughs> stage is yours, my friend. Now, yes, super. So, um, I just to make sure I get some ice cream again. Can we test that thing with the applause, if this really works? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, just before we start, um, I'm curious who is here in this room and who are you? So, Maybe, uh, just to give me some kind of idea, and we're talking here about this piece. I'm really wondering, who of you have a smartphone? Can you just raise your hand? No, that's all. that looks like 100%. So, the next question for you guys is, who of you does have a bank account? Please raise your hand. This looks like 100% as well. Great thing. So. We are talking here about the mobile bank account, to be very clear, so um, that's what you guys should be doing. But um, to make that more uh, uh, interesting, who of you today um, has, a has a bank account at a mobile bank? Can you raise your hand? Oh, a couple of you, that's good. Then uh, who of you has a number 26 account? Yeah, I love that. <laughs> we have the right audience here, great. <laughs> so, before uh, we go into our founding, I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page about who we actually are and what we do. The, ideal, the actual problem we are addressing, and now let me test if this works. Yes. Um, you have all a smartphone, um, that's great. Uh, I guess most of you are using it with like apps for messaging, um, to access whatever you want at any point of time, wherever you are. Yet, if you look into banking space today, um, we had now a couple of people who are with a mobile bank, for those who are few who are not, um, they suffered a very similar experience like I have suffered over the last decades, pretty long actually. Um, banking, how it's still today, is at a large scale like for 99% of the people, um, it's really outdated, it's really poor designed, it's like paper driven, and it's, at the end of the day, even offline. So, that's what we're addressing. We want to make banking sexy again. So, why we think this is a real problem, actually? Um, if you go out and ask people who are just now entering the job market, um, like you, um, who of them would like to visit a bank and what comes on top of their mind? They give this answer. They would rather visit their dentist than actually going to a bank. And that's true for more than 70%. So, that's what we're addressing. And what we have um, for those people uh, who actually want to have something like modern experience is... Oh, that's all they will slide, is a modern product. So, um, I'll give you some, some more insights into the product a little bit later, starting where we are actually coming from. Number 26 is, um, was actually started as a product for teenagers. We started back in 2013, in February, actually in a flat, um, where we thought about, hey, the financial industry needs some kind of really modern banking system. And we thought that the best uh, target group would be teenagers who are just starting to learn how to deal with finances. And we created a product which was a, a card um, and an app for parents to actually charge the card. So, with this product, which we initially had as an idea, we actually went to the Axel Springer Plug and Play Accelerator, an accelerator um, which is there to speed up companies and make sure they, have, they are validating their idea and creating here a market fit and getting some investors. That's 
where I met personally also Maximilian and Valentin, our other two co-founders. Then, just with this acceleration, we really validated the idea and get our first funding. So how did it look back then? I give you just a, a beautiful picture of our early team uh, at the Axel Springer Plug and Play. This is the this you hear the typical setting, which is the former um, actually um, uh, editor's room of the news of the Build magazine, the, one of the largest uh, German magazines. And there are the startups working together and having the opportunity to pitch. Um, the product over and over, like us. We had the opportunity to meet a couple of investors, a um, couple of uh, other, increase our network, really, and we find a product. And we did that. And with this first draft of an idea still of the product, we actually managed um, to get 500,000 euros from angel investors. And who did invest in us? It has been actually industry experts who actually believed that this industry is ready for disruption. And we met with Stefan Glesel, Markus Mosen, and Michael Dojacek, really some key people to help us building up actually our foundation. So they are not just angel investors investing their capital, but they are also specialists of the industry to, to shape the product. And moving forward, um, they helped us also to get the contracts which you need in the final space right, so that we actually had a kicked off with a MasterCard um, and a partner integration to make actually the credit card um, possible. We also then, with the funding, managed to, to launch our first initial product in January 2014 to a larger audience. So now, if you look back, we spent uh, roughly 11 months to have a first funding, have a first product ready, uh, and have a beta. A lot of sweat and blood actually going into that. So, what we found out? We launched our beta, but actually we found out that the, the, our, our beta customers who use the app and use their, the cards for their teenagers actually used the product for themselves. So what do we do with it? They didn't use it for the teenagers, for their kids, actually, to have this kind of real-time experience about the notifications. But actually, they took one step back and said, hey, ooh, that's actually cool. I can actually manage my, my MasterCard out of the app. I have full transparency on all the transactions. And that, when we made a very bold move in our respect, because we changed fundamentally the strategy of our our product and moved over to number 26, which is a fully fledged bank account, which we have today. So, then um, after this upgrade, we actually managed to close the second round with a new product of investors. And this time, and you will hear more actually from one of them later today, uh, we managed to get Red Alpine and Early Bird on board. And together with them, we managed to raise for this product 2 million euro. And this is one of, Early Bird is one of the greatest falls in continental Europe, actually, helping us um, to really kickstart and create the product and uh, make it ready for the market. So, after the initial beta launch with our <laughs> old product, we now needed to pivot majorly to number 26. And we did a beta launch in October 2014, and afterwards managed to launch on the 26th of January 2015, so a little bit more than one year ago. What happened next? Next round was at you. And luckily, um, with the new product, which we found out that really customers like, we managed to raise additional 10 million euro from one of the top investors, um, which is Valar, and the, this includes the, um, Peter Thiel, the founder of PayPal, and one of the key players, actually. He invested into us, together again with Early Bird, um, moving along, and uh, we had still Red Alpine and Axel Springer as investors. So, that's where we are today, and that's the funding, but let's look a little bit at the product. What are we actually doing, and what does this make, make actually happen? 
So first of all, um, if you look into traditional banking and the sign-up process, it's painful. It's also going. It also requires you often to go actually somewhere and fill out paperwork. Um, with number 26, we thought that's not how it should work. What you actually would expect is it like if you open a method, if you want to sign up for Facebook, you literally sign up for Facebook from anywhere you are. So we thought this must be possible in the mobile sp space as well. And we set up a way how we can do this actually, or anybody can do this within eight minutes from home. So I did it literally from my sofa <laughs> on my couch within eight minutes. Um, but yeah to having a video conference, showing your passport, swiping it a little bit so that you make sure you're really identified. But not just that. Once you have signed up, it's important to access all your financials at the tap of a finger so that you have full, con full transparency on what all your financials actually matters at any point of time. And putting things into perspective with some insights there. So the key product is really a bank account. And what is important, we have additionally a MasterCard. So that if you use the MasterCard, and you see this on the left screen here, you get immediately a notification on your phone about what actually was charged on your MasterCard. And the key thing for sure should be your money should be for free. So you can also withdraw and use it worldwide without any costs. And that's the core product which we launched. Um, but we thought that banking is not just broken in the way how you sign up, um, but also in the way how you actually transfer money. Um, I, I hope everybody knows what an IBAN is. Can I just raise your hand if you know what an IBAN is? Yes, it's beautiful. Who of you knows your IBAN? Can you raise your hand? Oh, actually, 10 people. I'm pretty impressed by you guys, how you manage that. Um, I think if e emails today would be like eBans, e there would be no emails. I think that I don't know who invented actually this kind of eBan system. It's just um, not very customer friendly. We think that for a transfer, it should be as sending an email. It must be literally the same thing and it should be as easy. So the logical step for us, there is this great concept of emails, or there's also mobile phone numbers. So we set up a way to transfer money. Um, via a phone number or an email address. So if I open the, the app, I literally would type your phone number or your email address, the money is sent. And the cool thing about it, it doesn't only work for number 26 customers, but it would work for any customers. And this is what we understand with transfers. And the money is not just there on the next day, but it's there immediately in the next second. Um, I'm just looking at the time because, yeah. So, and this is not only true for like national transfers, but we're extending this for Eurobyte transfers, and we are also partnering up with Transferwise to make actually uh, possible to make worldwide transfers seamlessly out of the app, as you would expect it that it should actually happen. It's beautiful, it's simple, and it's out of your pocket with a with a validation of your thumb. Then um, there are other problems which we have. Um, as a mobile bank, as we call ourselves, we have no branches. But how can people deposit money if they want? Yeah. And this is one of the core challenges. So one of the other core challenges was to sign up to make that possible, which we made possible with video conference to sign up and to make it really fully regulatory compliant. The second problem we are facing is that actually we need some retail, um, some branches. But that's a very cost-intense business. So we thought, why not partner with supermarkets, drugstores, um, and use their point-of-sale system to enable you to deposit money. So we launched Cash26, as we call it, where you, on your mobile phone, generate a barcode. And with this barcode, you go to the cashier, and she scans it, and you give the money. and in Again, instantly, if it's 50 euro, it's on your account. And it works the same way if paying out, and it works the same way if you'd pay the bill, actually, by just using your barcode. And that's 
If you look at our major competitors like the Deutsche Bank, which has 700 branches, we have 6,000 branches in Germany, just without actually having an own infrastructure. So, this is how we deal with traditional problems. But it should not be just ending here. But what you actually would have is not just access to your, uh, to your financials, um, but you also want to have full transparency of everything you have on what is happening on your account. And what we have here is everything, every transaction is in real time categorized. Doesn't matter if I send you money and write in, hey, I just paid for your lunch or if it's a bank transaction to your landlord, or if it's a credit card, actually. Um, but not just that. It's also, for example, we allow uh, you to get an overdraft, which is a short-term credit. And you can, again, get it in real time, can activate it, and have full control over it at any point of time. So, where we are today? We launched on the 26th of January. We started with an invite-only product to find out if people actually like it. Uh, and it was a very tough journey at the beginning. And step by step, month over month, we learned more from our customers. And what you see on the left side here is the customer traction. Um, today, we have more than 160,000 customers. Today, by this year, we will be the fastest growing bank of Germany. So, what are our lessons learned? And this is for you guys here, whoever is interested in actually setting up a startup, setting up your own business, joining a startup. Um, it is a tough journey. Uh, there are a lot of ups and downs, and especially the beginning, the first two years, are the really hard part, when you actually haven't proven your case, uh, when nobody believes you that you actually will succeed, that actually it's possible to enter the finance space. So what are our lessons learned? And these are some of the key things which we see. First of all, get the right partner. This is really crucial because it won't be an easy journey, and there will be a lot of good fights and bad fights, but it's important to stick together and make sure that you actually solve the problems at hand. Second, hire the best people you can. <laughs> this is really crucial. It's not just, it won't get done um, by itself. You need people who will not have only the will, but also the skill to do the things. Then, design around the customer needs. You test it with the market, you test it. And this is something which we showed also with the pivot. We made a major pivot as soon as you find out that actually the customer wants something different, like they wanted with us. And to be honest, when we launched uh, last year in January, it was pretty tough. It was a roughly shape, didn't work on all edges. Um, but it was out there, and it was really important to get it out. You feel so much more relieved if you have your first product actually launched on the market. So, if you don't feel ashamed of your first product, you just do launch too late. Then, um, what we think is important to make sure that you have a proof here of your product, and therefore focus first on growth and second on monetization. Next, what we are doing, if you enter our company, you will find out that we are really uh, very KPI-driven. We are looking at data, we are always learning, trying to validate things, seeing if they're the right things, seeing the wrong things, changing things. It's an evolution. We are like, even though we are disrupting the finance industry, you do it step by step. Be ready to challenge your business model. Be ready to change it whenever it's necessary. Don't stick if you find out something doesn't work. And last but not least, grow your product in a way that makes you really proud. So you can say, hey, I really stand for this product. And I love it, because only then, all the others can love it. So, what is the key success factors in our respect overall? 
And yes, I think the idea is important. It's important to have a first idea. But then again, you have seen that we have changed the idea over time. Um, and yes, the product is also very important. Um, in our case, we really invested a lot into the product, building the right product actually here for the, for the market, finding out how this actually looks like, how it feels like. Um, next, it's about the team. It's really important to have the right team who is passionate about it, who wants to change something. But most important of all is the execution. I was once asked about, at a payment summit, um, how much of our people actually work on innovation from a person working in the bank. And he had said, hey, there must be 80% of your people really working on innovation. I said, literally, there is nobody working on innovation. It's all about execution. We make the ideas happen. It's not about talking about the ideas, not coming up with great ideas. It's executing them and just make them happen. And last but not least, I think that's true for any startup, but also for any business. It's also about luck. At the end of the day, you could be have perfect, but then you need to um, get in touch with the right investors, uh, launch at the right moment of time, uh, make sure that you've selected the right partners, have the right team members. It's about a certain amount of luck as well. So, at the end, I want to quote one of our favorite um, stars here in, this, in the tech industry. You have to, got to start with the customer experience and build the product around it, not the other way around. Great design will make people love your company. This is really, at the end, what is important. We, we built number 26 around the customer. We're building a product that customers love to use. Um, I love to use. And if you look into the traditional uh, banking space, um, and I look back at myself when I was my former bank, how often have I been at a bank? Uh, I think in 10 years, maybe two times, and it was <laughs> more the worst experience. So for example, when I, uh, I moved from Austria to Germany, um, one of the tougher things was to close my bank account in Austria. <laughs> Why? Because uh, trying to closing it, they told me I need to actually visit the branch because I can only close it there. Uh, but for that, I needed to fly into to Vienna. Being at Vienna, walking into the branch at 2.30, which is 30 minutes before they closed, they told me, and filling out the form, waiting in line, they told me, yeah, thank you for coming here. Uh, but you need to go to the branch where you opened your account <laughs> to actually be able to close your account. And then, thank you, guys. I come back in three months again. <laughs> so it's about the experience. This is um, what we believe is the most important thing. Yeah, what's next? And what we are thinking, we have now a certain product what is here developed for the customers, but it's, we are not at the end. We think there is so much more to do because we want to be and create here the world's best bank experience. We want to do it by creating smarter banking. We want to do it by partnering with fintechs like Transferwise to actually create a more complete product and offer the best products out of our app. But also, we want to become a true pan-European bank. So in any case, you have to move between countries. You just need one account and don't have to open an account in every country. So um, I myself, I started actually at the VU here. Uh, I started here, um, made a journey to different industries, and uh, yeah, working now with number 26. And I think this is one of the richest parts of my personal life actually experiencing the startup life and experiencing how things can be made possible and how you actually change an industry. So this is us, number 26, our team. We took this picture just this Tuesday. Um, it's a different style of working. We really, all of us are very passionate. We, all of us are also number 26 customers. I hope so, you. <laughs> um, we are always looking for the greatest minds and talents uh, as well. So in case you are 
looking for a new and interesting opportunity, please uh, get in touch with us. Yeah, that's number 26. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Christian.